everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here. Okay, so you know this month's prompt is about crayons, markers, and pens, right? Well, I've got these metallic crayons. I bought these a while ago. Um, and I just have this really strange idea in my head, so I'm going to try it and see if it works. And I figured, what the heck, I'll share it with you guys. Uh, first thing I'm doing is I'm taking off half of the paper on these so that when I melt them, um, I don't end up burning paper. So we're doing that. we just got a couple more to go. And then what I've done is I've got out this, it's called GAC 400. It's a textile, it's right here. It's a golden textile. It stiffens textiles. Tax the. It stiffens textiles and fibers. Say that three times fast. Um, and I just have this idea. I'm going to try using it. I'm going to use some fabric. And I'm going to use some metallic crayons. And what's going to happen? Who knows? All right, let me bring it back out. All right, just have two more. Let me get these pulled off. And then we're going to start stinking up my room with melted crayons. Now, every time I said, <laughs> said the word gack, my husband's over on his desk working on his hobby. He starts going, ugh, ugh. I said, you can't do that on, on film. Can't do that. So if you hear him gagging over there, that's why. All right. So this is a dryer sheet, which I've got now. I had these from last month. And then I have a whole bunch of little scraps here of fabric. So let's start. I'm going to start with just this plain white fabric. This is, like I said, the gag. I've never used this before. Um, it says that it's not for use as a final pitcher varnish, always test your application clean with soap and water. All right, well, we're just going to see what we can do with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the bottle. I don't think it's, I think it's sealed. Yep. See, I've never used it. We're going to see what it does. All right, so that's open. Now let's go ahead and put this on this piece of fabric. Whoa. That's a lot of it. Uh, I'm just going to brush it into the fabric. And now my thought is to take these crayons. Start with purple. Why not? Sorry, this is going to be a little bit loud. And then what I want to do is I want to melt the crayon. I'm hoping to melt the crayon. I am. Yeah! We're gonna melt it and let it drip. careful because if I if I'm not careful I will end up um, making this boil and I don't really want it to boil all right so there's the purple I like that all right there's the purple now let's see do I have a pink in here we do uh, this is a I don't know pink let's see what we can do with it oh this is an orange that's all right we're just going to put a little bit on here. I like it! Let's see, let's do another color. How about some yellow or gold? This is a yellow. Look at that! That is 
so cool. Now, I can't use my dryer to dry it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit it to the side. Look at that. That is so cool. Didn't go through the back, which is fine. I'm going to sit it to the side on a tray and let it dry. So now I'm really excited. Now I've got to do a whole bunch more. The, look, the pencil, the crayon did go through the fabric onto the mat, which is fine. I'm not worried about that. So let's do some more. Let's put some gack on here. Gack. What a, you know, what a name. They couldn't find, you know, a different name other than gack. <laughs> I think the guy that named it was sick that day. <laughs> Let's throw some gack on there. All right. This one I'm going to try to do a little bit less and just see what it looks like. Oops. Back there. Isn't that cool? All right, let's throw a little bit of gold, just gold on with this. that now what I want to do is when it dries I want to see it because we have the fabric stiffener on there I want to see actually how stiff it makes the fabric um, let's do another big piece and this is all just um, fabric that I actually received from both Ann Williamson and Jerry Bellini because I'm not a sewer so I don't have fabric scraps um, and they do so um, they were very kind to send me and you know some fabric scraps because I'd love to I've got a lot of little pieces and I want to put them on tags and you know that kind of stuff and I just thought hmm I wonder what we could do with this so let's just finish put this full of gack and let's do some more colors how about a green on this one Now one thing I'm learning with this is number one, it, it dries really, really quick. Or I'm sorry, it melts very quickly. So if I don't want a whole lot, I just have to kind of just sporadically let it melt. You know what I'm saying? I can't hold the heat gun on it all the time or I'll just end up with big blobs. So there's green. Let's throw some of this blue on it, or a teal. Alright, let's just kind of write with it as it melts. I like that. Very cool. Alright, let's throw some, I don't know if this is red or orange, that's oh, orange, I don't really want it orange, let's do gold. This is so neat. I love it. It's got, still got some melted on it, so we'll just wipe it off. Look at that. You see the sparkle? You probably can't see the sparkle. All right, now I have to try a dryer sheet. I've got to see what this happens with this. I hope I don't burn up my dryer sheet. All right, so we're going to start out with the GAC, a fiber stiffener. Looks like we need a lot of it. Oops. All 
Uh oh, something tells me I'm going to need a lot more crayons. Because this is really cool. I just hope it turns out the way I'm thinking it's going to. All right, let's do, let's try some red. And this time I want to just drop. I want to do just drops. So let's see what we can do. See, we'll do drops on this side. And then on the other side, we're going to actually color like we were before. I want to see how it works. Alright, so there's that one. Let's take some of this. This is more like a peach. Or a copper, maybe. that. And let's throw some, maybe this dark blue in here. Or this purple. Looks like it's a purple. Honey, can you smell these crayons? Mm -hmm. Me neither. Maybe it's because they're metallic, I don't know. Look at that! All right. So now, let's see what happens. It's gonna come up. That is so neat. All right, we're gonna put this over here. I've got a tray over here I'm laying this stuff on. Just because I can. Let me wipe this up a little bit because I want to put down. Now I've done it on fabric and I did it on a dryer sheet. So now I'm going to try a piece of paper. And this paper, um, it actually was one of my drop sheets at one time. And then I, I took it and I sewed this. This is um, paper towel and this is just some fabric that I had sewn onto it. And I, someday I'm going to make this into a journal cover, but let's let's see what we can do with it. Let's go, um, I'm afraid this is going to come up as wet, but that's all right. Let's just do this. We're going to, I don't know if it works on paper, the, you know, to stiffen the paper like it's supposed to on fabric. Don't know, but we're going to see. Never done that, so I don't know. All right, so... And why I'm putting this gack down first, I don't know. I just think it's a good idea. <laughs> and i got to figure out what to do with it. So, <laughs> so that's what we're doing. All right, let's take... We haven't used this one. Let's use this one. Just adding some metallic here and there on this. Why not? Alright. Alright, so there is the orange. Um, let's use some blue. Now, you know what I should do? Let me switch hands. Because that way maybe I can... Ooh! Alright. Yeah, as the crayons get smaller, it gets hotter. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, now let's use some purple. All 
All right, so we're going to let this dry. Now, I don't think you can see it, but it's got that metallic sheen to it, which is really cool. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do this other side because I like how it turned out. So let's do this side. Let's use this hand. You know what I didn't do? Aha, I just noticed. Without that GAC on there, this doesn't work as easy. So um, it's harder to get the crayon to, to stick if there's no GAC to it. So well, maybe we're doing something right. Let's try. So I'm just going to put GAC on this like I did on the other side. And then I'm going to sit something heavy over here so it'll hold it down. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to use my right hand because I have more control of the crayon that way and where it goes. All right, let's go into the purple. One with the blue. And you know what? Uh, let's see. I think that's it. So we're going to sit this off to the side and let it dry. Now I have a few more pieces of little tiny fabric here that I do want to do. So I'm just going to pull these out. There's four of them. I'm going to put some gag down. There's one. This one needs more. Two, three, and four. All right, now these I'm going to do as single colors. So let's do one of them red. this one yellow or gold. I'm not sure which this is. It's more like yellow than gold to me. And then of course you know we have to have a purple. So let's do this one purple. Alright, so now we have all these papers that have crayon, melted crayon on them, melted metallic crayons on them. So I am going to let these dry, and we also have paper, this paper here. I'm going to let them all dry really well, and then we're going to be back and we're going to play with them and see what we can make out of them, and see how they, well, look it is, it's stiffening right up, yay! Maybe we can make some little mini journals. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, so you saw me take my um, GAC 
400, which is my fabric and um, it stiffens tectile, textiles and fibers. I have a heck of a time with that word. Um, and these were just pieces of material. Now what it did do is it did actually stiffen it. So it's a very, um, it's more sturdy than it was. Okay. So I wanted to show you how they turned out. Isn't that cool? That's a piece of material. Doesn't that sound neat? Um, and I really like them. Now some of these I honestly would like to go back in with more crayon and work with. Um, I'm not going to do that today, but I, I will eventually. This is the dryer sheet um, that I did. And like I said, I just dripped. I want to see how, do these come off easy? Eh, they will come off. Little, little. I just wanted to see if they will. And they will. They will come off. So um, just keep that in mind if you decide to do a dryer sheet with bumps, that the crayon will come off if you really push it. Um, it did make the dryer sheet a little bit stiffer, but not hugely, not as much as it did the fabric. Um, here's another one. So pretty. I don't know if you can see that, the, the um, metallic part of it. Um, here's another one. This one just has a little bit of red paint, red crayon on it. This one I love. It's a piece of material. Isn't that cool? So um, I'm going to use these, and we're going to use these in a project. But So this first video is just showing you how I made them. Here's another one. Isn't that cool? And this will be part one, and then on part two, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these pieces of fabric. I don't know as I'm going to use this, but that's okay. Um, but all of these little pieces of fabric, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use them for. Now, this is the last thing that I did, and again, this was, let me bring you out. This was a, um, a drop sheet at one point that I decided to um, sew this, this fabric. I'm sorry, it's not fabric, it's paper towel. I sewed down this paper towel that I used, and um, eventually it's going to become a journal cover. So I did add a little bit of the crayon, and like I said when I was doing the video, where I did not add the GAC, it did not set too well, but where I did add the GAC, it, it came on really cool. And basically what it did is it gave it that shine. I, you can't really see it on the camera, at least I'm not seeing it, so. But trust me, it's all metallic, so it's really neat. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This was part one, and we will go on to part two, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these pieces of fabric. So you'll get that probably tomorrow or the next day. So as always, enjoy, we'll talk to you soon, bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!